I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here are three questions based on ratios from one of our subscribers. Let us go through these questions and then I'll answer them one by one. I will actually use a very effective strategy to solve these questions since many of my viewers in middle school really do not know how to solve linear equations. So we'll kind of avoid equations and solve using numbers which most of the students are familiar with. So let's go through the questions now. Question number one is, I have a box of chocolates with white, milk and dark chocolate in. The ratio of white to non-white is 3 is to 4 and ratio of not dark to dark is 17 is to 4. What is the ratio of white milk, white is to milk is to dark chocolates? So in this question, you may consider white and milk to be different colors, okay? So that should help you. Now, let's look into the second question. Green paint is made by mixing blue paint and yellow paint in the ratio of 4 is to 3. Ben has 22 liters of blue paint and 18 liters of yellow paint. What is the maximum amount of green paint he can make? Assume packing of 1 liters. Right? You can actually pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. The last question for us is, in a bag there are 10 red and white beads in the ratio of 1 is to 4. What fraction of beads are white? Some more beads are now added to the bag so that two thirds of the beads are now red. What is the smallest number of beads that could have been added? Part C is, what is the new ratio of red to white beads? Perfect. So I hope the questions are absolutely clear. You can solve and then look into my suggestions. Now let's begin from the third question itself. We are talking about a bag which has red and white beads, right? So, so let's say red and white. And then always I'll write one column for total. Whenever we are working with ratios, we normally do not know what the total is. But if we know, it becomes simpler for us to solve the question, right? Now it says in a bag, there are 10 red and white in the ratio of 1 is to 4. So as far as the ratio is concerned, it is 1 is to 4, right? But see, if you add 1 and 4, you actually get a total of 5. But what we know here is that we have 10 total, right? So, so we have total of 10. So you could get 10 if this ratio is double. That is to say, we have 2 red and 8 whites. So basically what we have here is 2 red and 8 whites to make 10. Now, what fraction of the beads are white? When we say what fraction is white, means out of total, right? We could write from the first statement, 4 out of 5 are white. So this answer is 4 out of 5. Correct? which we got from the ratio given to us. 1 is to 4 means total is 5. Out of 5, 4 are white. Perfect. Now, if there are 10, it is 8 out of 10. You could simplify that to 4 out of 5. That is also same. Perfect. Now, let's move to question number, part B of this question. Some more beads are now added to the bag so that Two-third of the beads are now red, so some more are added. What is the smallest number of beads that could have been added? Well, if you are adding the beads, then let's add no white, right? Everything red. So that the ratio is 2 is to 3, means this ratio, right? So this ratio, red to total is 2 is to 3, correct? That is what we are looking into perfect by adding more beads right. that becomes the ratio now think like this 
we already have eight white beads, so eight will always remain, right? So, so think like this. We already have eight here, right? Now, if I want to make two is to three, that means white is only one times. We have eight already. Red should be twice eight. So we want to have red as 16. So how much should you add to get 16 red? That is what you need to figure out. Perfect. So you add 14 here, right? So 14 plus 2 makes it 16. Do you see that? So, so what we get here is, what is the smallest number of beads that could have been added? So 14 red. No white. Then you get 16 red. And still, we have 8 white beads. And in all, there will be 24. And you can check this ratio, 16 to 24 is 2 over 3, right? So we have 16 to 24 is the ratio, which is 2 out of 3. Dividing by 8, you get that. Does it make sense to you? So working with numbers, logically, as I am going through, should help you to get quick answers. Now, this approach is excellent for objective types multiple choice test, right? See, what is the new ratio of red to white? Well, new ratio to red to white is 16 to 8 or twice, right? 16 to 8 or it is 2 is to 1. So, we have doubled the number of red beads now since we added 14 red. Perfect. Does it make sense to you? That is how we are going to answer this question, right? Now, let us take the other two questions one by one. So now the question here is, green paint is made by mixing blue paint and yellow paint in the ratio of 4 is to 3. So we are mixing blue to yellow to make green. The ratio of blue to yellow is 4 is to 3. So if you add 4 and 3, you get 7. Do you see that part? Right. Now what are we given? We are given that Ben has 22 liters of blue paint. So we have 22 liters of blue and 18 liters of yellow. What is the maximum amount of green? We, not, we need to find what could be the maximum amount of green. Now to solve this question, you see the maximum amount has to be multiple of 7, right? Has to be multiple of 7. This is very important to understand. Only then you have a ratio of 4 is to 3. You get the part. So if you add these two, what do you get? If I add these two, 8 plus 2 is 10 and then this gives me 40. Now 40. 40 is not a multiple of 7, but the one which is lower to 40 and is a multiple of 7 is what? Is 35. So, the, we could get maximum 35 liters of green. This is what we could get. And how do we get 35 if I multiply by 5? So, in ratios, we actually do this multiplication, right, by the same number. So, if I times with 5, this becomes how much? 5 times 4 is 20. And 5 times 3 is 15, right? So we could use that those numbers and maximum will get 35 multiplying everything by 5. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we are going to solve. So what is the maximum amount of green paint he can make? Maximum amount is 35 liters of green. Now we are assuming that 1 liter is the minimum packing, right? So we have to assume something, correct? So, if 1 liter is the minimum packing, then that is the answer, okay? Now, let's look into the last question. I have a box of chocolates with white, milk and dark. So, we'll consider these three as different colors. White, milk, right? Uh, some of you could assume milk as white and do the question, but I'll take them as different colors. White, milk and dark. Right? So, these are my three colors. The ratio of white to not white is 3 is to 4. Now, this question is very tricky. Ratio of white to not white, that means 
white over not white means combination of these two that means milk plus dark chocolate is 3 is to 4 and the ratio of not dark to dark now these two are not dark so we have white plus milk to dark is 17 is to 4 now that is the ratio given to us how should I work with this and find what is the ratio of white milk and dark chocolates? Very tricky question. How could we solve it? Now, again, the trick here is, see the trick. We have to look into total. So if I add 17 and 4, what do I get? 21. If I add 3 and 4, what do I get? 7. So what I see here is that these two ratios are multiples of 7. So what I could do is I could also write this ratio as white to milk plus dark as we could multiply this by 3 to make it 21, right? So if I multiply by 3, I get 9 over 12. Now, what do we have? We have total of 21. So that gives us total of 21 chocolates. Correct? So that really becomes a minimum number of chocolates with which we can work by finding numbers from the ratios themselves. Do you get an idea? Right? So now once we have this, you can read the answer very easily. So how many white you can see here? White is 9. Do you see that white is 9? So white is 9 for us. And you get dark chocolate as 4. Dark chocolate as 4. Perfect. Total is 21. So the milk one will be equal to 21 minus 9 minus 4. Does make sense to you, right? That is how we could solve it. So when you take away 21, 9 from 21, you get 12, right? And then 4, you get 8. So we get these numbers right there, 9, 4 and 8. We want to write white, so white is 9 for us, white is 9 for us, milk is 8 for us and dark is 4 for us. Do you see that? So that is the ratio of our chocolates. Does make sense to you? So we get our answer which is white to milk to dark is equal to 9 is to 8 is to 4. So that is how without using any equations, just logic, we have solved all the three questions. And that is how one should be solving in any test, especially when they come in multiple choice questions. Correct? So let me summarize for you. The trick here is this. Figure out what could be the best total to work with. You're always working with the total amount. So sometimes it is not given, then assume best value of total. If you could do that as we did here, we assume this to be 21 and then you know what, this question just melted down and was so easy to solve. Otherwise, it could be really a difficult question. I hope you understand and appreciate the trick and the shortcut involved in solving ratio questions. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks a lot for watching and all the best.